Okay, one of the big topics I'm going to talk about uh, this week is going to be on Mac Pro graphic cards because uh, I think that's one of the biggest complaints uh, on the Mac Pro is um, by the time they release a new Mac Pro, the ones they sell in the store are could be as much as a couple of years old. There hadn't been a really good upfresh in two or three years now. And so um, we're going to kind of look into the reasons why they do this. Well, my, my belief is the reason why they do this and what some of your other options are. And now, obviously, obviously when you buy a Mac Pro or you're thinking of getting one, you know, you they do sell some graphic cards um, pre-installed. Usually they got to be the Apple branded ones, which means uh, you got to buy it from the Apple store. They flash the, uh, the graphic card ROM to be able to work better with um, Mac OS 10 and the Mac Pro. Um, now, some people don't like this, but they, I think they do it for two, really, really one of two reasons is because um, most of the what Apple does is they build a limited, their ecosystems on a limited hardware, which means they prefer to only put out a couple of types of piece of uh, hardware in a certain category, let's say the Mac Pro, which is uh, um, equivalent, well, to like a, a tower PC where you can upgrade it easily. And so it's, it's far easier to um, write drivers and support uh, a more limited um, graphics cards, let's say maybe four or five, than like where Microsoft, they have to cover basically any uh, graphic card out there. So and for a workstation, because that's what a Mac Pro is, a workstation class computer. Uh, stability is another reason uh, along those lines as well. Um, so that's why they prefer, I think, to do a limited amount of graphic cards. Uh, I think another reason, and probably what a lot of people say, is um, because they want to make money, um, which is should be reasonable considering any company really, that's the reason they're there is not just to sell for people who need to use it, but of course make some money themselves. And I always believe that Apple is always geared towards selling their hardware. That's really primarily where their income comes from. And you can see this with, um, they really been lowering their prices on a lot of their software, uh, especially their operating system. It used to be at uh, one time, I think around $120. They lowered it all the way down to $20. And that's to, you know, um, try to uh, sell their hardware. And so we're going to look at some of the options besides buying uh, the graphic cards in inside the Apple Store, which tend to be more expensive. And a bit more limiting as well. Now, you do have a choice. Usually it's one entry level card that comes in the Mac Pro. At this time, I think it's a 50, it's an uh, ATI AMD um, 5, uh, 5770, I believe. And then now for the uh, uh, upper level advanced card, it, it's a um, uh, 5870, which is a fairly decent card, but it's a couple years old now. And then for the professional um, top, uh, card that's usually a quattro. I think it's four thousand. I can't remember what the uh, the one is. Now there are some more options if you want to use, um, like say, uh, use a cheaper card, a PC card to put in the, in the Mac Pro. And uh, you, you, like I said, usually PC cards are more cheaper. And it, it seems that um, all the way up to I think maybe even Lion, and now we're in Mountain Lion right now that. Um, there's actually built-in support for a lot of the ATI cards. They're not even in the store. They're even more updated than what's in there right now. And supposedly you can uh, go all the way to something like a Radeon 6870 that you can actually put it with a, uh, put in a PC card and it will actually run. Now, like I said, I'm not sure all the models that may or may not work. That's beyond the scope of what I'm trying to do for the topic. 
And uh, you can do this without having necessarily to flash the, the ROM. Now you may not get a boot screen. Uh, may, you may see a black screen all the way up until it boots into the operating system and you're on the desktop. Um, but you, there's a few things you have to worry about that as well that um, in future operating system updates they may decide to take support for that out so you have to you know be careful as well but it still may be a viable option for uh, getting a more updated video card for a lot less and uh, now let's look on the uh, um, the others uh, another brand of course the two main brands are AMD or ATI used to be and Nvidia on the NVIDIA side, you can actually go down to their website and download um, updated graphic drivers for their premier video cards. I think you can even run, I'm not saying the top video card, but quite recent, I think here I got written down here uh, all the way to a, uh, maybe a NVIDIA GTX 580. Um, so that's another option as well. So you just put in your card, um, install the driver and, and you know, it should work. Now there are some other things you need to worry about as well. So do your research. Like I said, it's beyond the scope of what I'm trying to do right now. Um, some video cards may need actually two six pin power cables, um, vice one. And there might be a few options you can do. So I heard the splitters might work. And another thing is some cards may actually draw too much power. And so you may actually uh, burn out a power railing on the motherboard. So you have to be careful. Um, a good place to go down uh, to if you want to research this is go to Mac Rumors, uh, the Mac Pro section, and they have actually quite a lot of information on this. And uh, there's actually even some things you can uh, flash your own ROM onto um, a graphic PC graphic card, will allow you to get the boot screen and some other things. So uh, there are some options other than just buying it from the uh, the Mac the Mac Store or Apple Store.